Okay, so Champion Juicer. This is kind of a hodgepodge of two different ones, but they all work together. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six pieces. The trickiest part, there's two tricky parts to this. First one, putting the screen on. Um, actually, the, these all go together. The best way that I found is you put it on this main housing here, and you get the side that's got the open slats. See that side's closed? That's closed. This is open. So you get that, and you have to slide it on here, type of thing. And uh, it's kind of tricky, but you'll get it like that. You know, make sure that it's seated properly, both sides. Okay, that, <clears throat> put that down for a minute. This guy is the auger that goes on this main turbine. And you'll notice that the, uh, there's a flat spot to this turbine. And there's also a flat spot in here, which is kind of hard to see on this camera probably, but it's right there. So you just have to line it up, the flat on flat, and it should just slide right on. You can put a little bit of olive oil on this. They recommend that for, for lubrication. Obviously not WD-40 or anything that you're going to want to eat in your juice. So the tricky part is putting this guy on. Um, it takes a little finagling. This, are, this is yellow and this is white uh, from two different machines. Um, but it still works. They have these little, um, these little notches that line up with the notches on the main machine. And you have to get it in, push it in tight and then turn it so that this is vertical, like that. And you'll notice that <clears throat> they should all be in these brackets, should be all lined up. And to take it out, of course, you pull it out. And uh, you may have to finagle it to clean it, of course. So this is the trickiest part, putting this thing on and then Putting that, just make sure that they're all lined up. This is the collar, so you can put your juice and your greens in here, and then away you go. The on button is here, and this thing will last a long time. You just go when it runs. Um, you just can't you can't overdo it. You'll hear the running motion, and it will just do carrots and apples and chard and celery. No problem. It will do parsley, but it kind of gets clumpy. But parsley is a great juice to do. You, I would suggest doing parsley at the end in a new bowl. And then you're going to have to separate it out with the screen. But anyway, you uh, when you're doing the carrots, the, the, the pulp comes out here, this end. The juice, you put a nice little bowl here. That goes right here. So obviously you want your juice small enough that it's not going to catch the pulp but big enough that it's going to come out of this reservoir here straight through here so <clears throat> that's it in a nutshell when you're doing a ton of carrots it's going to go boom, boom. but sometimes you may hear it go click 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 like the me mechanic inside is going to click that means you're you're going too hard or you may have to shut it off you pull this out and take a fork or a spoon and pull out the excess pulp that is it's been gathered up in here. So anyway, that's all I have to say on this. Hope that makes sense. And um, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple and bomber bomber proof. So good luck, happy juicing.